Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson. In this lesson we are going to study the Lord's Prayer in Arabic and this is from Matthew chapter 6. Abana alladhi fi al samawat. Abana alladhi fi al samawat. Our Father who in the heavens. So, Abana is our father. Abba is a father and Na is the poss possessive pronoun our. So, Abana is our father. The possessive pronouns in Arabic is written as a suffix to the noun. Alladhi means who and it could also be mean which or when or where depending on the noun it defines so in arabic the relative pronouns or the difference between the relative pronouns is not in the type of the noun that they define but in the the number and the gender of the noun so this word alladhi can be used for persons or things or places but only for a singular masculine nouns okay fi is in al sama wat al is the definite article uh, the and sama wat is heavens and remember we don't use is or are uh, as a linking verb in the nominative sentences in Arabic. Li yataqaddas ismuka. Li yataqaddas ismuka. This first letter, the lamb, uh, is used here as um, to, to make the imperative tense or the command tense so yataqaddas is to be holy and so liyataqaddas is let it be holy ismuka ism is a name and the this letter ka is your name so uh, ismuka is your name this this is the possessive pronoun your. Li yati malako to ka. Li yati malako to ka. Li yati means to come, but in the command tense, this is the imperative. And malako to ka is your kingdom here again ka is your connected to the noun of course it gives us your kingdom malakot is a kingdom and malakotuka is your kingdom li takun ma shi atuka li takun ma shi atuka Litakun means be done. Mashi atu ka. Mashi atu is will, and mashi atu ka is your will. Ala al ard kama fi al sama. Ala al ardi kama fi. Al Samae on the earth as in the heaven. Al Ard is the earth and Al Sama is the heaven and this the, the plural is uh, of this word is Al Samawat our father who is in the heavens al samawat 
Here is the singular. Al sama, the heaven. Ala and fi are prepositions. Ala means on and fi means in. And the nouns that comes after uh, and the nouns that come comes after the preposition is pronounced with a final e sound. So we pronounce this ala al ardi kama fi al samai a'tina al yawma khubzana al yawmi a'tina al yawm khubzana al yawmi a'ti is give in the command tense and with na it means um, give us so na here is the object pronoun us so as a general rule in arabic the object pronouns are written uh, as a suffix to the verb and uh, the same pronouns if written connected to the nouns it gives us the uh, poss possessive pronoun okay so atina is give us al yawm today al yawm uh, yawm is a day and al yawm means the day or today khubzana so we have na here but this time it's connected with a noun not connected to a verb when connected to a noun it is a possessive pronoun so khubzana means our bread khubz is bread and khubzana is our bread al yawmi means uh, daily so this literally means our bread the daily or our daily bread well that's it for today thank you so much for listening and see you in the next lesson